Hey guys, welcome back to Mumta Nival Tutorial and guys in this video we are going to solve other MCQs which will be based on biology subject and all these questions will be from 11th and 12th class biology. So they will be a little tough. So be patient and solve all these questions. They will definitely help you in your exam. So let's start with it. Let's start question number one. Which of the following components provide sticky character to the bacterial cells? What we are taking? A bacterial cells we are taking and why the bacterial cells have a sticky character? Which of these components can be responsible for those characters? As, as we all know, our bacteria is of three layers. Okay, It contains three layers. The outermost layer is known as the glycocalyx. The inner layer is known as the, the cell wall which is made up of some other components. It can be of peptidoglycan in some bacteria and it can be vary also in different type of bacteria. And innermost lining is known as the plasma membrane. So as we know that even in the bacteria cell, we have different membranes. The three membranes we require. The outermost membrane is known as the glycocalyx membrane. And that is what it is responsible for that, that sticky characters. So that's why option number three is the correct answer. Let's start question number two. Which of the following options best represent the enzyme composition of pancreatic juice? So what we are taking pancreatic juice. So what is the composition exact composition? If you have that this type of a question in your exam, you do not need to figure it out what is present. You just need to figure out what is not present and in which options the which is the wrong one like Pepsin. Pepsin is always secreted through the stomach. So this cannot be an answer. This one is also not be an answer. But and one more option is a renin and renin will be secreted only in the mostly in the cuffs uh, cases or in we can say that the small child of a cow. So in th those cases to digest that protein or digest that milk we require renin. So this cannot be an uh, option. So, so definitely we will go for the option number third. But elsewhere I will give you a brief introduction what, what a normal uh, pancreatic juice contain. So all the composition you can able to answer if the composition has been changed in the exam. Still you can be able to answer them. Normally, our pancreatic juice, this is the pancreatic juice and in a pancreatic juice, it is consists of two things. One is the water and other is the solid particles. Okay, this is the solid. So, 99.5% is water where 0.5% will be the solids which we need to discuss. So, what are the solids? It can be an organic, organic substance. Okay, and it can be inorganic substance also, which is a part of pancreatic juice. So this is the organic, organic substance. Okay, what are the organic substance we should know about the pancreatic juice? There will be one sodium, sodium, calcium. They all are part of pancreatic juice. Third, that will be potassium potassium fourth magnesium magnesium okay fifth will be bio bicarbonate bicarbonate sixth will be the chloride ions so chloride is also part of it phosphate phosphate as well as sulfate so all these inorganic substance is also part of a pancreatic juice but if we are considering only an organic substance so what kind of organic substance it can be an enzyme it can be an enzyme or it can be an another organic substance like for example albumin Albumin is also present in the pancreatic juice as well as globulin. But it is in very little amount. So we will neglect these things. First thing is which is the most important thing are the enzymes. So what what enzymes we have? We have three type of enzymes. One enzyme which will help us to, uh, to digest the protein. So this is the proteolytic 
enzymes so we will see them one by one so this is the enzyme i n okay first it will be the trypsin all these will combine together or they will perform individually also but the main function is to digest only protein so this will be the chymotrypsin third it can be a carboxy peptidase okay fourth will be the nuclease fifth will be the elastase and sixth will be the collagenase collagenase okay all these six will be for the protein digestion protein digestion we have lots of other enzymes also like for amylase or we can say that to digest the carbohydrate what we have amylolytic enzymes so these enzymes will be helping us to digest what to digest carbohydrate so there is only one enzyme for this this is known as the pancreatic amylase amylase okay and another is to digest the lipid so so that we can do emulsification of fats so lipolytic enzyme that is enzyme i don't know why i am making mistake here so this is the li uh, lipolytic enzymes what are the lipolytic enzymes first will be the pancreatic lipase this is the first enzyme second will be the cholesterol ester hydrolase third will be the phospho lipase a as well as phospholipase b okay i am writing it here only and third uh, fourth will be the colipase fifth will be the bile salt bile salt activator or activated lipase we can say that okay so all these things are present in our pancreatic juice okay so these are the enzymes these are the protein digestion enzymes these will be the carbohydrate to digest carbohydrate and all these five will be for the uh, fat emulsification so if there is any question any kind of a question regarding to the pancreatic juice or any enzymes you will able to answer it directly so as we know with this we can figure it out like which one is our correct answer the answer number third will be the correct let's do question number 3 which among these is the correct combination of aquatic mammals so we are considering only the mammals which are aquatic that means their habitat is aquatic so in this there is an example which one is the trigon trigon is also known as the string ray so this is a fish so we cannot take it as a aquatic mammals this cannot be an answer and in here also we have this same option so this cannot be an answer as well as shark shark is not a mammal so we will not take it as an answer but whales dolphin and seals all these three will be a uh, or they are mammals and they live in an aquatic environment that's why we can consider only option second which will be the correct combination let's see question number 4 fruit and leaf drop at early stage can be prevented by the application of in what we can apply in a plant so that we cannot have a chance to drop the fruit and the leaf in the early stage of that plant so which hormones these are the phytohormones which we are taking first is the ethylene this this hormone is responsible for the ripening okay this is for the ripening of the fruit taking place okay and the auxin auxin is the hormone which help in the vascular tissues or we can say that elongation portion of that stem or this is the elongation portion or we can say that cellular cellular elongation elongation 
as well as this hormone also help them to bind it with the uh, with the stem so these are the leaves so this hormone will help them to bind it with the leaves so that they cannot fall off so this will be the right answer which we are searching in this question so uh, next is the gibberellic uh, uh, acid this will help us in the storage material during the uh, I'm so sorry for the disturbance. Uh, this is for the storage, storage material during the uh, germination when whenever the seed is germinating. So we require some material to be stored. So that material can be able to store because of this uh, phytohormones or the growth of the pollen tube is also responsible for this hormone. So this hormone will help the plant to grow that pollen tube growth also. And cytokinin, this is the hormone which help in the cell division. So whenever there is a question on any hormones, you will able to answer because of these reasons. So you know that what is a, these hormones, all these hormones work. So you can able to answer according to it. So right answer for this question will be the option number two, which is auxin. So I hope guys you have understand all these questions. If you still have any problem, let me know in the comment section. And thank you guys for watching this video.